Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, Bashim Rachak Wadash. My name is Yakabo from Plaintiff's Camp. The apostle, it starts off this video with a uh, comment here, and this dude Jeremy Thomas breaks down Genesis 15 the wrong way. You go to Genesis 15, and it's Genesis 17. Genesis 17 clearly labels the children of the promise. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and his progeny as strangers. All right. All right, stranger. G44. G4033. My gawar. I wish the root word is gawar. All right. Sojourner, a place dwelling, a newcomer, a place, a sojourner, lifetime uh dwelling place sojourning place dwelling place sojourning may you travel temporary and have abode all right and ma means of or pertaining to magawar all right and you go to and he said unto abram know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and they shall serve them and they shall be afflicted Flick them uh, 400 years. Yeah, the Israelites, thy seed shall be a stranger. G1616. 16, 16. Yeah, what came from Gar? These are the Israelites. All right, so, journey a temporary inhabitant and newcomer lacking inheritance rights of, a, of foreigners in Israel, though conceded rights. Right, these are Israelites. These, these are the ones that are going to pertain, uh, receive salvation if they're of the elect. All right. And uh, the second time around, or after the Babylon is destroyed, the Israelites are all going to come back. As it is written, all Israel shall be saved. Some of them became aliens, sojourners, and strangers, but they're going to come back to the fold. It's as simple as that. So the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, this is when we served slavery in the land of Egypt. All right. It's the land they, they became strangers our ancestors became strangers in the land that's not ours egypt was not our land i mean i don't know what the what the hell he's talking about uh then it says uh and it was fulfilled in exodus 12. no it wasn't then he talks about the nakar let's go to the car real quick it says uh seven days shall be no leaven found in thy house for whosoever eateth that which is leavened even that soul shall be cut out from his congregation of israel whether it be a stranger or one born in the land All right, this is an israelite foreigner g sixteen sixteen, and he's talking he's probably talking about 43 and yahweh said to moses and aaron this is the ordinance of the passover there shall no stranger eat thereof no well, no he's talking about but it's clearly telling you not to eat it uh, verse 43 and Gar and 48 verse. All right. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee and will keep the Passover to thee and let his males be circumcised. All right. This is Israelite foreigners. All right. So this is the actual stranger that is not an actual Israelite. That's uh, Nakar. All right. And so, so he, so the guy mixed it up. He, he meant to say, uh, use H1616 here that's what it looks like it says uh, 12 uh, 43 and the car is 12 8, is a uh, H5236 in verse 43 and Gar in verse 48 let's see so he mixed it up. He meant to say Gar in verse 48 and the car in 1243. That's what he meant to say. On the car in 43. Yeah, he did say that. But that's clearly uh, not talking about an Israelite because they can't eat the Passover. So they, so they, that's not, if you can't eat the Passover, you, that's akin to not being saved. You're not a part of the fold. All right. So you can see here, uh, the, the actual stranger that's not an Israelite cannot eat the Passover. All right. And you have 5236, which is Nakar 
generally this word is used for someone that's not an Israelite. It's only used a few times actually pertaining to an actual Israelite. All right. But generally this word is used for uh, someone that's not an Israelite. And this word is almost always used, if not always used, as uh, to describe an Israelite that's far into the land of Israel from the, from the commonwealth of Israel. All right. That's how you break that down. All right. And when a stranger shall eat the Passover. All right. So obviously there's two types of strangers. 12 and 48. And when a, and when a stranger shall sojourn with thee and keep the Passover of Yahweh, that all his males be circumcised. So this is an Israelite that's in, that was far into the land of Israel, far from the camp of Israel. All right. In the 48th verse. And in the 43rd verse, this is uh, a stranger that is not an Israelite. So he cannot eat it whatsoever. All right. And Yahweh said unto Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof. All right. So this case, I wasn't clear. He's saying that Nakar was in the 43rd verse and Gar was in the 48th verse. Nakar is in the uh, 43rd verse. All right. Which it clearly tells you that you can't eat. All right. Cause, so there's two different types. All right. In this case, I wasn't clear. All right. No matter what he said, I'm, I'm breaking it down the correct way. Forty uh, third verse. An actual stranger cannot eat. All right. It says, uh, but every man's servant that is brought for money when thou hast circumcised him, then he shall eat. All right. A foreigner and an hired servant shall not eat thereof. All right. So, the the stipulation is you have to be an Israelite. You have to be an Israelite, whether you homeborn or you're born foreign. All right. One law shall be to him that is homeborn and unto the stranger that's a journey among you in the 49th verse. All right. So there's a difference between the, the Gar and the Nakar. All right. Now, uh, I believe two times it mentions the Nakar as Israelites. But it's only two two times, I believe. It'll be somewhere in Isaiah and in New Testament Hebrew, all right, if I'm not mistaken. All right. But generally, the Nakar is not an Israelite. What's that word there? 11. Oh, sons. Oh, sons of the strangers. All right. Let's get back to the Apostles video. Uh, Gar. Stranger, uh, 1616, I guess it's H, it was H, 1616, I gotta double check it, verse 48. When you go to the King James, you're gonna see the word in the 43rd verse, Exodus th uh, 12, you're gonna see this word stranger, 48th verse, you're gonna see the wor word stranger again, and I believe stranger is mentioned in the, uh, Exodus 12 another two times but these are the main two that I want in this in 43, 43rd verse it says I'm not going to go to it somebody can put it in the chat that the strangers are not allowed to eat the Passover and now in the 48th verse it says the strangers and I'm just paraphrasing I'm cutting it short uh, it says in the 48th verse that the strangers can eat the Passover, but they got to get circumcised first. 43rd verse, they can't eat the Passover, period, if they're... So wait a minute. It, now, it's obvious it doesn't mean the same thing. Okay, what this individual did was he put a... No, he got it right. Nakar, Nakar uh, stranger, meaning an of another nation outside of Israel. Ga means an Israelite born outside of the land. Moses' son, I believe it was his first son, positive was his first son, was born, he was not born in the promised land. 
he was born in Egypt in that that area remember he escaped Egypt but he was in that region of land so he was not in his the promised land wasn't realized yet but he called his son a uh, stranger because he was born in a strange land because the, the most High showed him that ultimately they're going to get their own land so when Israel got their own land there were Israelites that left the land and they were called strangers meaning they were out not it says not born in the land in the 48th verse it says a temporary inhabitant a newcomer lacking inherited rights that's talking about what does the word inheritance means it's, it's talking about land when, when a tribe wanted to come come back in they were born <clears throat> let's say in egypt or whatever <clears throat> during the time of King David and they want to come back because they said oh this this is the greatest king King, king David King Solomon I got to come back to the land you know Israel's popping right now and um so they'll go to the judges and they'll say well what tribe are you from I'm from the tribe of Gad so they would take a plot of land in the tribe of Gad not the tribe of Judah or the land of Judah or Benjamin or Levi or Asher but Gad based upon his lineage and they would say okay this is your plot of land land goes back to inheritance a newcomer lacking inherited rights they don't have the rights until they, until the judges give them the rights that's a gentile show you that i'm not going to argue with this guy it's, it's waste i'm like bashing my head against the wall he, the, the most high didn't open up your eyes that's 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 all there is if you're watching James, jeremy thomas talking about israelites born outside of the land this is not it's, it's not this is this is not hard to understand if you how was i told nick um nicodemus yeah how was i was saying simple things and it was going over this guy's head and this guy Nicodemus was supposed to be a lawyer, a doctor of the law, so you can understand. And the Lord said, "You mean to tell me you can't get this? Basically, this is I'm, I'm bringing it down down to you in the lowest common denominator. You can't get it, man. And you a doctor? Whatever he said, James, James chapter, uh, John chapter three. So, so he says, it's sad that you are blinded by your ignorance." I can see super clear. It's you, you're the one that's blinded. Anyway, this is why I don't even deal with Christians. If I if a Christian roll up, I'm gonna hit him with actually two. As it, as it says, um, uh, what does it say? The exact words. There's one more thing on this. He said, uh, Abram was told in Genesis 15, his descendants would be strangers in the land prophecy fulfilled in Exodus 12 in the car. So he actually is like contradicting himself right there. So it says it's fulfilled in the Exodus 12. Cause it's, it's no reason for, why would he even say, uh, they can't eat the Passover. All right. Because this here, the forty third verse is not talking about Abraham's seed. That's how, these are actual people that are not Israelites. They are not of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These are the, these are the sons of the strangers, the hired servants, etc. They are not of the seed of uh, Jacob. All right, because you got to be of the seed of Jacob to be saved, to be a uh, to eat of the Passover, whether you uh, home born or foreign. If you are foreign, you have to be circumcised if you weren't already circumcised. That's, that's the condition, well, if they aren't circumcised. It, it, it doesn't mean just because you were foreign that you weren't circumcised. Uh, yeah, some Israelites that left and kept the commandments and some of the Israelites that left and didn't keep the commandments. They weren't all created equal. All right. I mean, their actions weren't all like the same. You know, they had different levels of you know, devout behavior. So let's move on from the subject. Now there's a but the main comment. Okay, so I was watching this while I was watching this yes yesterday, last night. We're in the Sabbath, by the way. And it's the full moon. 
The new moon was when the moon was dark. Another thing that this guy changed in October, November of 2016. And we jumped on him. But we're the only camp that jumped on him about teaching about the new moon. No other camp that I know of jumped on, jumped on him about that. But all the other camps do teach the new moon is a dark moon. You got to defend the gospel. And we here at GMS, we are known for defending the gospel. That's why we always have these back and forth with these people. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to go right to the, this is, okay, I'm sorry. Apostle Ryan Malave called me concerning something. And um, we just talked, spoke briefly. And then I was telling him I'm watching this video and I went to the comment and I believe I even read the comment to him. And then I said, I'm not at my house. I'm not going to do a video now. I said, you can jump on and do a video. I don't know if he did a video about it maybe he wanted to let me do it i said no nah, you go ahead and do it i'll back you up doesn't matter okay so let me open this up so this this comment right here jumped up jumped at me uh a mac five so whoever you are shalom to you it says i found this knowledge at the end of 2016 this is right well well, no, nah, I'm sorry. This was this was right around the time of uh, the end of the end of that could be October, November, December. He found the knowledge at at, at the end of 2016. This is when this this uh, uh, Nate started teaching the new moon is the full moon, which we jumped on and started watching IUIC at the beginning. At the beginning, I said, mm, let me watch more of this. At the beginning of 2017 I watched IUIC exclusively cause cause the book got him this individual right here he's obviously he's watching IUCPK IU, uh, GMS this group that group uh, was Sakari Sakari was around at that time then he said this is the group that I gotta get with the uh, IUIC this is the, as you can read it uh, I started watching IUIC exclusively for about a year, for about a year. So now we're talking 2018 and realized the eyes were finally open a few things. Now we've been saying this recently that they're changing stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll quote the scripture, uh, metal not with them that are given the change and we'll show you how they change stuff. They recently changed. I uh, maybe four years ago, maybe, but I caught went to it about nine months ago, ten months ago, that there's an actual hell and that Israelites are going to be going to burn in hell. No other camp teaches that except GOCC, and GOCC are complete bug outs, complete bug outs. Okay, it says a year, and realize a few things. This is a big shift within the within their doctrine a big shift change i've noticed small changes within their doctrine now this happened with a uh, tazadaki the so-called god sent comforter you watching them you notice how they changed this uh, uh mary never had sex with joseph mary never had children at all uh the yahawashai's uh brothers and sisters were really his cousins He's an ever virgin. I said, wait a minute, that's a Roman Catholic doctrine. Uh, Tyler's doctor started dressing, dressing like the black Pope. So we said, this guy sold out over the past 23 years. And, and then if you notice, uh, the ICGJC became super professional. They had the, the, the garments, they wore all the same garments and they had the music and the professional videos. And they would do meetings. They would they would rent a big auditorium, and then they would have the comforter in the back, and everything was uh, professional. So I said, "Well, that's a PR PR firm behind them guys." Same thing happened with the IUIC. All of a sudden, they look you know professional. So they're being helped. So this is not surprising. Let me see. Let me read this again. I've noticed small changes within their doctrine over the past two, three years. 
So we're talking about eight, 18, 19, 20, all right? So this is not surprising, not to question, he puts in the Tetragrammaton. Because they changed that. But they changed, they changed that about 2010, 2011. Because prior to that, you had got individuals like Kanai Gabar and uh, uh, Abiyah Abiy Allah, which is now he's Abiyel. Uh, you had Yahweh Sap and you had uh, um, Shakya, which he finally left. They would teach how you I see this, how you I see that. They would teach and they would always say Yahweh. Um, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And it was uh, Bishop Nate that went to this rock. They had they, they were out there in the woods and he found the name Yahweh, but it was written wrong. It, was, it wasn't written, it, it was written kind of backwards, you know. And he said, um, oh my goodness, that's the name of Yahweh. He make a mockery of the name of Yahweh, you know, blaspheming the name of Yahweh. He said, does that mean we got to follow these bums now? <clears throat> and the guy that was next to him, he fell off. Looked like an Ephraimite. He fell off. You no longer see that guy. A lot of them guys fell off. Like I said, IUIC has a lot of people, but it's a, but it's a, um, it's a revolving door. I did videos on that. Go to the, go to the IUIC Brooklyn. Look at, look at the faces of the men in IUIC Brooklyn. Then go back about 10, 12 years ago. Totally, total different group of uh, faces. Guys, 10, 12 years ago, now they were rolling kind of deep. They had about maybe 10 guys out there in Brooklyn. Yao Sop used to be out there. And Nate used to be out there. And you and you look look at the faces. I don't even see them faces no more. Maybe there's one. I don't even think that the case. Go to the Bronx camp. You see the, go back 10, 12, 13 years ago. The, the, none of those faces are there. It says why, why these elders are changing. Get mellow not with them that are given the change, the doctrine. To we in the new covenant. As of late, something is truly off about this. So now, when this individual said he obviously watched ISUBK GMS. Kari, this group, that group, or Zabak, whatever, AOC, whatever the groups are. And then you got these other groups. And um, he said he'd been watching since the end of uh, 16, but he was it. He was hooked for about a year. He's in his seventh year. He said, well, something, something ain't kosher about this, you know? Uh, thank you for exposing the folly, my brother, Deacon. It says, uh, uh, that's right, this is why fellows get their doctrines cut up. So this they, they, this video was put up by Hakar, Deacon Hakar. This is his newest video, newest short. So wait, so wait, the two groups that hate each other teach the same doctrine. Oh, by the way, so you can know, uh, uh, a shout out to uh, Captain Cesariak. Shalom to you. He had sent me a, you know, on my on my page. He said he wanted to get with me. It doesn't have to be public. And I and I replied back. I said, yeah, we can get together soon. No big deal. It says, uh, so where is their brotherhood? The uh, those two groups make no sense. Stupidity is crazy. Laugh out loud. Let me let me do this. He said, stupidity, but he said, we're under the new covenant. Yeah, because he said anybody's teaching contrary, because he's saying that we're under the new covenant. So he said anybody's teaching, don't follow these, these stupid people that teach. He was obviously watching us. GMS is stupid. And I guess he's watching uh, Deacon Hakar, whatever, with the debate, Hassad, actually. Okay, it says uh, Hebrews eight thirteen, and and that he say if a new covenant he have made the old first old, now that which decayeth and wax this old is ready to vanish away. So we're still people that say we're still in the old covenant.
it says waxing old old covenant and ready to vanish away so did it vanish away it's going to completely vanish away because the new covenant is going to come in people don't even know what the new covenant is you got crown ass christians saying the new covenant means we don't got to keep the laws so you can be in the kingdom of heaven dress you can be a man dressed up like a woman you can change your plumbing that's why you don't deal with these clown ass bugged out crazy Christianity equals crazy <clears throat> Bishop Nathaniel was saying that the new moon that the new covenant is partially in effect he did not say that I, I listened to this right here he did this Saturday we listened to it he was speaking about another subject and he went into the new covenant and we knew oh he was watching us he had to be watching us he did not say he did not make this statement uh bishop nathaniel is saying that the new covenant is partially in effect he did not say that he said we're in the new covenant and i'm gonna let this play to see if he caught that part he did not say we're part this is what we say we are partially in the new covenant when yahweh shot came on the born came on the scene died and rose that's a part of that covenant that was fulfilled Ult ultimately the covenant is going to be fulfilled when israel keeps the laws perfectly uh when you understand this now that which decayeth and waxes old is ready to vanish away waxes decayeth ready to vanish away equals all this says that something has started but not complete and i agree with that what this guy said he said the right thing but he's saying that nate said that nate did not say that nate did not say he said we are in the new i heard it i heard it my witnesses was soccer um apostle gabar and B uh, bishop soccer so here's the uh here's a short uh, deacon destruction mode covenant that's the new covenant and yes, we are under the new covenant. Stop listening to people saying we're not under the new covenant. I can't take the stupidity has got to stop. Real quick. Y'all see that? Through the blood of the everlasting covenant. That's the new covenant. And yes, we are under the new covenant. Stop listening to people saying we're not under the new covenant. That's it. There, there you said it, you know. So he needs to... You no, know, go go through that you know, in further detail on what he means. Uh, he said he didn't say we're partially into the new covenant. He said we are under the new covenant, which that lacks details. Or he means exactly what he said: we're we're fully in the new covenant. All right, so he he have to explain that. And the only way he can really explain it is to either keep saying what he's saying, or say what we say that we're partially in the new covenant. You now. Bishop Nathaniel did not say we're partially uh, in the new covenant. He said we are in the new covenant. So he, he lacked the uh, the details or he really meant what he said. So that's it at Deacon Destruction Mode right there. That's the uh, clip. I'll leave the rest of the uh, elders, apostles video in the description box. Hope you edified. Shalom.